What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Holiday Draft on the Legacy Channel, otherwise known as the Corset Cube Draft. Uh, we are going to do a stipulation by Scott L today. It's an Uno Draft. Each subsequent pick must follow either card type, converted mana cost, or color of the previous pick. So if I, if I pick a 5 mana black card, it's a creature, I can either take a creature, a 5 mana card, or another black card. <clears throat> it has to be any one of those. Um, so it's an Uno, basically Uno. Like, whereas if I play a four a four green card, you can get either four or green or whatever. Um, lands can always be taken and will not change the previous pick. So if I take the five mana black card and then I take a land, the next pick still has to follow the five mana black card stipulation, right? So um, you can take an artifact if the previous pick did have colorless mana in its cost. So basically it would just be like, it basically follows the rules of any other color. And then your following pick must also have colorless mana. So if I take an Assassin's Trophy, which is not going to be in a core set, uh, I can then I can't take an artifact after that, or vice versa. If I take uh, an artifact, I can't follow it up with a, an Assassin's Trophy. So <coughs> the curve. The reason you think the curve will be interesting is because uh, one of the inherent rules of the stipulation is that you you pick the same casting costs, or one of the one of the inherent rules is that you pick the same casting costs. So. Uh, the Stanley draft will presumably be working. Uh, we'll be going with, we'll prioritize alliterative cards uh, like Bruce Banner or uh, Peter Parker or Victor Von Doom or Reed Richards or Sue Storm, um, the Silver me. Surfer. You know, Stanley was uh, was notoriously known for his his alliteration, his alliterative skills in uh, in comic books. So I think we'd go um, along that line. Oh, Wade Wilson was actually a Rob Liefeld creation, but he might have been channeling his inner Stanley. It might have been homage to Stanley. It's weird. I said it last stream, but like it kind of feels like it feels like a grandfather died. You know what I mean? It almost feels like the grandfather like raised you and like that you interacted with almost daily in some capacity. You know what I mean? Like, it's like your grandfather that, that, that wrote you letters or showed you pictures of himself, like from like from like his, his younger years. Right. And you looked at it or read those pictures every day for your entire, like for almost the entirety of your life. It's kind of strange. Um, To, to like realize even that that there was that, that it had that much of an effect on you you know god it keeps getting me man <laughs> boy I'm really glad this cube is taking so long to fire because I would hate for us to uh have something to take my mind off this. <laughs> yes, Wade Wilson was definitely modeled after De Deathstroke, the Terminator. That is correct. Um, so, yeah, probably not alliterative in the sense that Stan Lee uh, influenced, but alliterative nonetheless. <clears throat> but I do, appre <laughs> I do appreciate the pushes up glasses meme. That's a classic. But actually, Wade Wilson was a parody of Slade Wilson, otherwise known as the DC comic villain Deathstroke the Terminator. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> All right. A liter not the, uh, the Uno draft. Uno draft is online. God, Grave Titan's got to be very good, right? He says as if he has not drafted Grave Titan multiple times in this exact cube. <coughs> oh, boy. Current one for profit buck. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, I like Jace the Varin's Prodigy as well. I feel like we haven't had much luck with green. So if I take Grave Titan, either has to be a black card, a six drop, or a creature. Creature is nice, though. That actually leaves us pretty open. 
I'm probably just going to take Grave Titan. I think it's the strongest. I hate doing another black draft, but uh, I think that's good enough. Okay, so six drop creature or black card. <clears throat> uh, Archangel of Thune I like a lot. I would also not mind doing the black-white deck. Let's take Archangel of Thune here. Archangel of Thune seems also very, very strong. Uh, I would say Jace is a creature. I was thinking of P.I. and Colonel R, but I also, spoiler alert, I have a stipulation that is either a black-red sacrifice deck or a green-white enchantment deck. Those are the requirements. Um, so I would save building around any kind of sacrifice deck until then, which we'll likely be doing today. Okay, so now we have creature, white, or five drop. <clears throat> Which means we don't have to be white. We can actually take like a red five drop. Uh, Fell Spectre is a creature. It's probably one of our only options in this pack, actually. Heliod's Pilgrim is an option, actually. And we could take something. Uh, it's, it's just an aura. I wish it was an enchantment. That'd be broken, though, probably. So I think Pilgrim and Fell Spectre are our only, are, are our only options. That's a hard thing. Our, 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 our. <laughs> I think he's broken, ladies and gentlemen. I think he actually had a stroke. Um, depending on what we get for this, it could be very strong. I'll take the Fell Spectre. Fell Spectre with Archangel of Thune seems actually pretty good. So now we need a black card at four drop. <clears throat> or a creature. Ooh, Sarah Angel. Is Sarah Angel as good in the cube? I don't know. Frexian Arena just always seems strong, especially with Archangel of Thune. Let's go Frexian Arena again. Am I just... Leaning towards the black cards. I'm going to take it. Oh, but then it narrows it down to enchantment, black, or, or three mana. I guess that's fine. <clears throat> I do want to keep the white because I kind of want to steer away from a, a mono black deck again. Um. Okay, so enchantment. None. Adaptive Automaton is an option. It's a three mana card. So is Rex Sage. We could just take Ostracize, but then we're restricted to one mana, Sorcery, or Black. So there are no enchantments. So it literally has to be Automaton, Frost Lynx, Ostracize, Rex Sage, or Thopter Engineer. Uh, we cannot take Diamond because it didn't match color, casting cost, or type. <clears throat> probably just take automaton here keeps us open I guess I don't know take the wreck sage whatever so now we need green creature or three drop okay we can do that R. Uh, nothing great here. We can take Crypt Rats here. I don't love Corrupt. I kind of like Soul Warden, especially with Archangel of Thune and Phyrexian Arena. Maybe we're just like a little life gain deck. Corrupt is very good, though. We can't take a Corrupt. We actually have a creature, a green drop, or a three drop. So it's either Crypt Rats or Soul Warden. Oh, Spartan, you're right. I could have taken felt I could have taken charcoal diamond. Man, I'm a dummy. I always get man, steps are so complicated sometimes. Okay, so we took Soul Warden because it matches creature. <clears throat> Whenever you cast enchantment spell, put a one encounter on this guy. Um, we actually have arena. I'm gonna take the blessed spirits here. So we have a white card, a three drop, or a creature. Remorseful Cleric is pretty good. Harm's Way is actually... I've heard good things about Harm's Way here. <coughs> I actually took this hoping the uh, Heliod's Pilgrim will come back. I'm going to take the Harm's Way here. And Imposing Sovereign is a white card we can take. We, also, we can't take Sword of Vengeance because Harm's Way was our last pick, unfortunately. All right, we'll take... Uh, can't take that. We'll take the Sulphurous Springs. Just in case. F 
Fire Diamond. So last pick was what? Harm's Way, <clears throat> I believe. Uh, well, duress, duress is actually a solid pick here, I guess. Uh, whatever you, whenever you take a land, you actually have to take the last card. So, uh, there is a one mana sorcery here, so we got to take that. I would love to take this knight, but sticking to the stip. And there's a red card, so we got to stick to that. And more red cards, fascinatingly. Wow, all the red. Okay. <clears throat> well, we do have a Sulphur of Springs. Do we have to go from pack to pack? Can we start over here? I'm not sure, but I might just want to take Inferno Titan anyway, because it's very, very strong. Double Titan is also pretty good. And we can just play these red cards. Interesting. So either way, our last card was a two-mana instant red card. <clears throat> I think we're just taking Inferno Titan here. Hmm. <clears throat> we could just be we could be three color with caves of Koilos. I would rather take Inferno Titan than Mind Stone here. So we can either a six drop, a creature, or a red card. Siege Gang does seem pretty solid. I'm gonna take the Siege Gang. Okay, okay. So creature, five drop, red card. Creatures, five drops, and red cards. Magma Phoenix, it's not terrible. Could kill all of our things. Enthralling Victors, not terrible. We could take an artifact or a land. Not thrilled about that. <clears throat> Probably just Enthralling Victor, I guess. Yeah, not thrilled about Temple Bell. Actually, it might just be Smash. I like having an answer to artifacts. My only issue with Phoenix is I worry it kills all of our things as well. I'm going to take the Smash. What are our colors? Or could we be, what's better, white or black here? <clears throat> I don't know. So what do we take? Three mana, instants, or red cards are our options. Vryn, Vryn, Vryn Wingmare is not bad. None of the black cards are great here, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Vryn Wingmare. We can also just not be red. Oh yeah, so we're gonna take the Vryn Wingmare. <clears throat> oh, Captain of the Watch. That seems great. Now, no matter what colors we play, we have a six drop. That's good. We have an Inferno Titan, Grave Titan, and a Captain. I think we're definitely white here. So six drops, white cards, or creatures. Topin Freeblade is actually very strong. I'm a big Disciple of Bolas fan as well. Someone's like knocking on the door, but I don't know who it is. So I'm gonna take this token free blade, I guess. <clears throat> Not sure where we're going with this. Angelica Accord seems like it could be good. I don't think we're gaining that much life though. So we got creature, two drop, or white card. I'll go with Macabre Balls here. That could be good. <clears throat> I don't think it's great, but... 
Oh, uh, I do like Priest. It is a blank card. Triplicate Spirits is not an option. Actually, it is. They're both sorceries. So that's not bad. Yeah, we'll take Priest of Blood. Sure. Uh, I like Militia Bugler a lot. It is a creature, so we can take it. Sweet. All right. Caves of Koilos. Definitely taking Caves of Koilos here. Tendrils is good, but we don't have Herb Warg. Tendon Knight's good. I'd rather just have the land. And Militia Bugler is the last pick, so we have green. Uh, get an enthralling victor. Not green, uh, creature, rather. So now we have creature, red card. Uh, and Tuco Shade is an option now. Sweet. Nantuko Shade was the last pick. Alright, I'm going to put these guys in the sideboard for now. <clears throat> we do have a lot of good red options. Oh, wow. That's great. Graveborn Muse is fantastic here. Strands of Night, also not bad. I imagine even in a two-color deck, we should still have a good amount of side uh, swamps. Oh, Sanguine Bond. Let's get some life gain here. What do we got? Sanguine Bond, so a black five costs or... <clears throat> Could take Marble Diamond, too. I like Marble Diamond. I do like Murder a lot, though. <laughs> wow, there's one of those out-of-context quotes that's really awkward if you, uh, if you don't know the context. I'm really a big fan of Murder, though, because it just kills anything. I might be better than Marble Diamond here. Maybe. Last card is Bond. Just got to remember that. We're all big Murder fans here. Oh, it's awkward. It's probably Marble Diamond, actually. Also, this guy is a lot better now that we have Sanguine Bond and Strands of Night. Like, we have actually a surprising amount of incremental enchantments here. Yeah, we'll take the diamond. <clears throat> um, Last pick was what? Bond? So we can get Rager, Mentor. Nope, can't get either of these. Yeah, I think we just take the Rager here. It's got to be a five drop, a creature, or a black card. So this fits the bill. And it does have to have uh, colorless mana and its casting cost. All right, so three mana, a creature. Oh, I like a Devouring Light here if we're going to do that. Marble Diamond's basically Mox Pearl. It's basically the same thing. Uh, Pacifism seems good. Armored Ascension seems good as well. <clears throat> well, actually, we're not going to have as many planes, so I'll just take the Pacifism here. So, two mana, white card, or an enchantment. First response, not terrible. Also, we have Caves of Coilo, so we could actually just make a guy every turn. That seems good. Yeah, I'm going to take the first response. We'll see if we can make something out of that. I'm not sure if we're going to build around Sanguine Bond, but uh, we're definitely building around Blessed Spirits more and more, so that's cool. <clears throat> All right, so four mana, enchantment, or white card. Literally one four mana card, two four mana cards in here. Not for us, so we gotta look for white cards and none of those. Enchantments, none of those. So I'm just gonna take Loxodon on Warhammer, especially with something like Sanguine Bond and Archangel of Dune. Uh, 
Okay, so last card was first response. Again, we're on four color, four, <clears throat> four. Actually, no, artifacts don't, artifacts let us take whatever we want, don't they? Lands, we have to go back to the exact one. An artifact means that the next card just has to have a colorless. Oh, that's a nice little refresher. Huh. That's pretty cool. I like Sign and Blood here just because we have... Uh, actually, maybe it's Icereth. We just need creatures, I think. <clears throat> Alright, so three mana, which does turn Druidic Satchel on. First response is also kind of nice with both Caves of Coilos, Phyrexian Arena, and... Uh, like, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah, first response is actually pretty nice here. Uh, this guy. I think we're just taking Skeleton here. No, we'll take Satchel. I think Satchel's stronger. The life gain's also good with Sanguine Bond and Archangel of Thune and all those things. Uh, this is also 26 cards. I'll take Black Cat, I guess. Uh, because I think we have to. I don't know what the last pick was before that. I think it was... Are we still on... Yeah, all right, that's fine. Yeah, we took Druidic Satchel, so we have to actually take a card with Colorless in this cost, so. And now we have a Dragon Skull Summit. Not taking that. I guess it's just Bloodseeker. So we can take a two mana card. Oh, reprisal's nice. That's that's actually great. That's a nice sideboard spot. Uh, raise the alarm. Still good. All right. Enchantment's nice though, because even if it's like plus three, plus three, and flying, it's still very strong. And it triggers our <clears throat> blessed spirits. Do we care about two one ones more than that? I don't think so. Eh, righteousness. <laughs> the card I've. Eh. All right. Okay. Sure. All right, we need five cuts. That's a good amount. 16 creatures. So I don't want to cut too many creatures, although we do have... Side into Boros. We could also side into uh, to Rakdos. Do we have any Fell Spectre combinations? I don't think so. I like Sanguine Bond. I like the idea of Sanguine Bond. How much life life gain do we have in our deck? Not too much, unfortunately. Yeah, we're going to cut the Sanguine Bond. I don't like Wingmare Main either, especially because it, it hurts a lot of our things. One more cut. Maybe Macabre Waltz. We have 14 creatures. I guess he's cutting Imposing Sovereign. It doesn't feel like an Imposing Sovereign deck. It is good with Archangel and Hammer, but maybe. I don't think we need McCall Bolts and Icereth. Icereth kind of does a similar thing. Maybe I'll bring the Bond back in and we'll just go 41 like you do. I think this is actually fine. Let's risk it for the Biscuit.
this hand is rough, but any black source and we're good. I'm, I'm going to keep it. We talked about the biscuits. They are free in Biscuit Town. <clears throat> I feel like I'm at a point where I'm just going to tell you that I'm streaming. I'm just going to ask you not to ghost me. Daddy gave me a name and then he walked away. Remember that? You guys remember that Everclear song? You guys remember Everclear? Wow. You mean the alcohol? No. No, I don't. Oh, we did it. Nailed it. Now we got that good that good curve. Kind of. Anyway, this guy should help a lot. The turn zero GG? That's like the most preemptive GG I've ever... Well, all right, we did it. Okay, that's enough lands though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is uh seven's good. Seven's enough by turn three. <clears throat> I don't like that lady. Okay, eight by turn four. It seems good. Come at me, bro. What truck what trick could I even have here? Yeah, nothing. You're taking it. You're taking all that damage. Oh yeah. She did. Maybe she's not dead. Oh, she did. Oh, he did. Don't have, <clears throat> don't have anything. Don't do it. Man, I have played Priest of the Blood Rite so many times in this limited format. It is great. Do I have a favorite nonfiction book? Oh, wow. Well, then. Um, I bet I do. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Who's it going on? Where is it going to go? I mean, I think we're just trading here two for two, but we're going to gain five, so that puts us ahead. Or they can just take ten. Yep, as predicted. So it's basically a one for one, but we gain five and they take three. That's a good deal. Next time we can play Blessed Spirits and also equip the Warhammer. <coughs> Favorite nonfiction book. Let me think about that. Um, I really actually enjoyed Modern Modern Romance by Al Aziz Ansari. It was very good. I felt like it was very relevant. Okay, I kind of like that better. Getting back to Priest seems pretty nuts, though. Yeah, Warhammer's pretty broken here. <clears throat> that's going to be the game guarantee it
How are we down to 491? I don't understand. Josh donated like 11 subs. I don't understand. And I've got like a ton today. Man, a bunch of the a bunch of the gifted today was been a really big gifted sub day back uh, a month ago. Why do we always, they always have this guy? Hey, why you always gotta have this guy, huh? God, they're almost dead if we just go straight to the face, but. Like, they kill the demon and gain five next turn is the problem. So I kind of just want to go toward their face. Or toward their Garukum, Garukums. Friendly! Thank you so much for the, for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I love this lungs counter. <laughs> oh, I guess they're not lungs. It's like a ribcage. Ah, oh, this anatomy counter <clears throat> yeah we're just gonna play another dude here this should be lethal I don't know they're probably just gonna mutilate make a make a beast of Garrick and we're gonna be real dead but frankly they only have a four swamps so they're gonna, then they're gonna mutilate and kill our demon and then we're gonna be real dead Or they're just dead. I don't know. <coughs> oh, they did kill our... Okay. All right. All right. They killed our demon. As predicted. Oh, we can get back Phyrexian Rager? Good lord, that's nice. I'll take two. I'll go to 30. Seems good. So, oh, this is a perfect amount of land. We have three to equip, three to cast, 30, re 30 to reanimate. Oh, and we can also uh, buff our our spirit boys well those spirit boys are at it again <clears throat> alright so here's what we're going to do send you at Garrick and then the rest are going at your face Trying to find free biscuit coupons so you can stop the, the risky lifestyle. Top search results are Popeyes or Bojangles. Uh, I like Bojangles more, but there are no Bojangles in Florida. And Popeyes is also very good. Wow, now I want Popeyes for dinner. That sounds great. I think the closest thing we have around here is churches. Do you guys know if churches and Popeyes are comparable? <clears throat> yeah, I figured they had a removal spell. However, they have to block here and take five, so it's okay. Or they block here and take... Isareth staying on board seems pretty busted. But that's okay.
Oh, we got Popeyes is better. They're different, but I prefer churches. Churches is good. All right, so that's that's enough of a. I feel like as far as a fast food chain goes, that's enough of a resounding promotion that. Uh, we they only have these thin wafer things to eat. Wow, wow. <clears throat> Communion reference on point. Oh, wow, they get their demon back. That's bad. That's bad news bears. We could just let them kill themselves in three turns. <clears throat> I'm playing the trumpet right now, guys. I don't know if you know this. I'm pretty sure they go to four. Do they have any way to kill? They they put Garrick up to three. They go to two, and then they kill their own priest, but then Garrick is gone. So I think that's actually okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to pass here. <coughs> they have one... They have one card in hand. So at worst, they go to two and kill their own Garrick. They get another beast out of it, but they also go to two. And we can redirect. Next to the image, the source of your choice to deal to you or an opponent's assault to any target. So we can actually target their face. So should I get some churches for dinner? Some strips? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna hit a soul warden, boys. We can target Garuk, but I'd rather just target their face. <laughs> oh yeah, do it! Wow, wow, this is a lot of churches support here that we're seeing. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, I did not think I did not think the chicken restaurant was gonna get this much of a resounding. Uh, I thought you guys were going to be like, no, don't get fast food. It's terrible. Uh, Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm surprised I haven't had churches before. Unless I had it like years ago and I didn't even realize it. But... Uh, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I'm not a huge churches fan. I, I think churches as a band is fantastic. Her voice is on point. I have to. I have to message Felipe. Oh, uh, target creature gets. <clears throat> oh, dang! They're gonna kill their own dude. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Okay, so they have no cards left. That's whatever. Uh, I think I'm going to not get... Uh, yeah, we're just going to wait to... I'll get you chicken from behind bulletproof glass? I don't even know what that means. But it sounds like a good deal. <clears throat> I 
How do I redirect? I'll redirect two damage from this guy to the demon. Is this game slipping away? I can't tell. Give me that life. Oh yeah. Where's my Archangel of Thune, boy? Come on. I gotta I gotta frick Cinerine out. <clears throat> They're at four, we're at 27. I feel like if we can get rid of this guy, we win the long game, but... They do have quite a few blockers. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. A dual deck cube? I don't see why not. You mean, like, have all the dual decks in one cube, and then, like, you draft it? I imagine that's definitely an option. Since you live in Florida, by law, don't you have to be done eating by 4.30? No, it's only if you re reach a certain age threshold. <clears throat> However, if you are eating with other people, then you have to be done by 4.30. It's really weird. There's a lot of, uh, it's a whole, it's a whole to do. Man, this card must be good that they have because they are really in the tank right now. This is game one. Good Lord, this game is taking forever. Why is this game taking so long? <clears throat> Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a spicy meatball. Draw three, gain three. Good lord. At least I assume you're sacking a beast and not a doom dissenter. Oh, Gravedigger. All right, so that's right in the middle. They're like, eh, I'd rather gain one less and draw one less than... Get rid of a 3-3 Death Toucher. That makes sense. That's a fair... That's a fair compromise. <clears throat> oh, it's a land. So we're going to do it again during upkeep because we don't want a second land to get hit. Okay, Black Cat. Not ideal, but still a guy. And Caves of Coilos. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> See, now you just double block with these guys. This is rough. What size gauges do you have? These are double zeros. You have another thing? How did this game slip away from us like this? I'm very confused. We should have killed the Garrick when we had the chance, I guess. Man. I got greedy. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I don't know if it was greedy. Like, they were at four. All they had to do was take one more shot from the priest, and then we killed them with harm's way, but... Yep, we're at 30. Swamp. All right, one less land we're going to hit. Oh, boy, that's going to do it. <clears throat> that is a spicy meatball. Okay, so we're definitely killing the Garrick this time.
I'm gonna put on the cat because if they kill the cat, I would rather, you know, they lose the things. Oh, we can actually just lethal them here if they don't have removal. If they have removal, they're gonna kill it anyway. So we'll just kill them. No, we'll go face. <laughs> Does Black Cat win us the game? I have two cards. Come on. Come on, don't have it. Come on. Exactly enough planes. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're doing it. Oh, this suspense is not real. I'm gonna make ugly faces until... Oh, man, Black Cat wins us the game with Xaxes. Way to go, little flying buddy. Way to go. You did it. You did a good job. What a good boy. Get catted on. I'm going to say that. Got him. <laughs> oh, good times. Reprisals only like it was only good against like one dude. I might I'll bring in duress though. I like a duress here. He's like, I did get catted on. Dang. Uh I don't love Spectre. They're not discarding a bunch of cards. We actually had this. He was in the initial build, and then we're like, eh, I don't know. Like, we're not just, we're not making them discard enough. I played in the past draft because we had Liliana. I'm waiting for them to respond so that I know they're not mad at me for saying that. Don't be mad. I was just kidding. You don't have to get catted on. I'm sorry. Uh, we do want to cut something. Probably cut the locks on. No, just kidding. That was actually MVP there. Also, Sanguine Bond, like, definitely would have done some work. Like, Loxon and Warhammer, just even if they block, you still get the, the life. Hmm. We can take out Harm's Way, I guess. <clears throat> all right well i'm gonna mulligan this hand i'm gonna keep this beautiful hand um i'm actually gonna put this on the bottom it seems greedy but like we want a second swamp for both of these cards so even if we hit another planes i think <clears throat> we'll be fine and we have three turns to hit another land and we did it we are good at this game Oh, Urborg. Well, that changes things. I wish we kept that planes. The things you wish you knew. That is just fine. We are going to Phyrexian Arena. <clears throat> We especially want to play this because we want to hit lands, so I want to make sure we hit a fourth land here and then a fifth land after that for Archangel of Thune. Although I am admittedly afraid of... Well, that's that's good, but... Okay, so I've, I'm almost tempted to just pacify this demon. That feels correct, and next turn we can play Archangel of Thune. Followed by Isereth and Loxodon Warhammer. This feels okay. <coughs> Yikes. All 
right, well, you have three cards. I guess we're hoping that you don't have the good good. They're probably going to get rid of this guy somehow. Flip Liliana. Make us discard. We'll probably discard... Maybe it's an Antuko Shade, actually, because we can get it back with Isereth. <clears throat> also, going Isereth... Whoa, this is interesting. Oh, they just want to flip their Liliana. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just take three. They also have no problem with this guy dying, so this is actually a great attack. And Garrick. Nightmare. Well, that's a nightmare. Okay, so... Boy, that's problematic, isn't it? Holy Jesus. Well... Well, biscuits. Wow, that's good. Um, geez Louise. So if they play a land, we take eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're going to have blockers, though. We can just block here, gain three. I kind of like Warhammer Isereth because putting the lifelink on something else is going to be very detrimental to... I also like just playing Captain here. Yeah, I think that's better. <clears throat> Having a bunch of dudes on board for Archangel of Thune is really strong. We can also play Warhammer and equip Warhammer next turn, so... Yep, we're definitely blocking this guy now. I don't, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, we can discard. Yeah, this is fine. We definitely want the life gain here. It's always weird when the chat is like, there's no response for like four minutes and I'm like, did the chat break? Am I still alive? What's going on? <clears throat> four minutes is such a long time. This is fine. We'll get rid of Black Cat. So we're at five. <clears throat> All right. Now we're at four. Oh, wow. That is something. Well, it's only plus two, plus two, I guess. I guess we could play Warhammer just to equip it to, like, Captain of the Watch. We could also play Bond and Nantuko Shade, but that's not great. They just take four. I think we just have to hope they don't have something. They have one card, so it's very possible they don't have anything. This is one less life, but it incentivizes them to block this guy instead of this guy, so we're going to do that. <clears throat> and they also have Vigilance. Uh, attack your face with all of them, right? Like, they only have two blockers. So if they block here and here, they still take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. They take 12. They can't actually block here, so they're definitely taking 4. They can block here and here. They take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They go to 1.
and we go to 14 I don't really want them to get anything back but they really can't so I think this is actually fine <coughs> I guess we're just hoping the last card is not a removal spell because then it ruins our plans yep that is as planned that is as planned okay so you go to one if this works oh wow it worked okay well feeling ahead here <coughs> think we're ahead in a perfect world they're typing good games pleasure to play against you good luck in the future that is my that is my theory I saw cards in another stream that said like exalted one after another stream what the hell does that mean another stream I don't get it <laughs> <Good guess. clears throat> oh going out on your own terms I like it I can appreciate that oh my stream another game oh <laughs> why didn't you say so <laughs> um I think it's when Sublime Archangel comes down because it gives you Exalted 1, right? Uh, other creatures you control have Exalted. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why it says 1 after it, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> you got me. Rockvile, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. It is Hammer Time. Hammer Time won us the match. this is this hand's fine it's a little slow but we have the old uh, good five drop six drop four drop three drop one drop seven drop nine drop 14 drop 12 drop and that's really all you need rain drop drop top setting it up for four five six drop okay well I was hoping for Nantuko shade but uh, <clears throat> oh, that was see. Look at this. Everything's working out. Everything's coming up. Millhouse. So this is a lot of mana they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana for artifacts. I think we just have to play Graveborn Muse and hope it survives, I guess. I guess. <clears throat> Long time YouTube watch will really catch the stream. I'm saving money to move, so I can't afford a cube right now. Thanks for letting me live vicariously through. Okay, man, anytime, buddy. Anytime. I'm glad to... Oh, that's rude. You're rude. They only have two cards, though. I like that. Our hand is stacked. Oh, here comes Worm Coil Engine. Worm Coil Engine was never in a core set, Frank. <laughs> oh. 
You don't know anything about cards in corsets. Uh, that's true. Uh, if you would draw a card except for the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, that's fine. Okay. Don't draw other cards, though. Oh my god, you're so rude. <clears throat> Dang it. Uh, we could play... It's probably first response. Or, god, a land would have been so good, right? I want to play this. If we hit a land, it's going to be awesome. It, we did not. It is a Grave Titan. It's not ideal. But it is what it is. Also, whenever we gain life from this, these guys still get pumped. These guys get pumped. Everybody gets pumped. We are so pumped right now. Now it's got to be a land, right? If it's not a land, we just have nothing. Whatever. It'll be a land. It was a land. I told you guys. Why don't you believe me? I don't think they're going to block here. That seems pretty bad. What? Huh? All right, I'll pump. Is this guy just die? No. Okay, you got something. Oh. Huh. Um, I'll just put this guy in the bottom. <laughs> I don't care about him anymore. I'm. I'm be honest. <clears throat> That's. You have no cards in hand. That was your. That was it. They have one card. They were going to play something on their turn. They decided not to. Both of these are very, very good. I'll just play Grave Titan. They know we have it. They saw it off of the Druidic Satchel. Satchy, if you will. Chips aren't cubes, but sometimes they are cones. Oh, God. This is my favorite. These discussions are just gas. What is this you're doing? Yeah, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> Here's what I like to do. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> it feels like we're in good shape here. I don't care about your stupid Colossus. Fly, you sexy zombie man. Uh, to be fair, this is not... You're not giving my nonsense a chance. <laughs> oh, man, good times. Oh man, does it does it help if I appreciate your nonsense? Um, to be fair, this is not a zombie. This is actually a giant man. So, and he was on a horse that took to the sky. All right, so that was good. That was good stuff. I'm a, I'm a fan. I like a duress here. That's nice to have. Again, I'll take the harm's way out. Duress seems a little stronger than that. I don't think Reprisal is going to do what we wanted to do against a uh, a Blight Steel, uh, Dark Steel Colossus. Blight Steel being the one with uh, Infect. Uh, <coughs> This seems great. I was I was actually upset about the no white mana, but then we have Mar Marble Diamond into first response. That's all I want to do. This cube is great, actually. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this cube. <clears throat> and then on turn five, we can go Satchel into uh, activate Satchel. Oof. Oh, I see what you're doing here. I see what's going on. <clears throat> oh, Captain. That's rough. If we manage to hit an Isoreth, though, it's pretty good, right? <clears throat> like a rainbow in the dark. 
That's a it's a Dio song. All right, now we're just uh, hoping to bond them. I'm actually I don't know if we have enough. I don't think our deck is actually fast enough to survive this nonsense. Unfortunately, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's just six. Actually, none of them matched. God, Archangel of Dune is gone. Captain is gone. Ooh, Priest and Imposing Sovereign. Let's go Priest. <clears throat> this milling is not okay. I guess we just gotta try to try to win this. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but good lord, it's getting worse. It's getting bad. I really don't want this in my against. I don't want to play against this card. All right, that's fine for now. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not having a good time. I think we're dead. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. Wow, Sphinx's Tutelage is broken in this format. Because the decks just aren't that fast. <clears throat> I wish we had a disenchant now. Boy, now I feel silly. All right, well, we're just going to submit, I guess. <coughs> I guess we could actually just board in a couple more cards if they want to mill us. Nope, too late. Oh well. We'll have a duress. It'll be fine. Oh, we do have a duress, but we don't have a black mana. Oh, this hand is so good if we had one black mana. Two black mana, maybe. Actually have to keep this, unfortunately. We have a we have a two drop. Topian Free Blade's good if we can hit a land here. Oh god, come on. One time. Oh, we're so good at this game. <clears throat> this is actually a, quite a bit of pressure if they don't have a turn 2 drop to block the Topan free blade or pacifism nope that's not gonna oh that is that does do it that's obnoxious might as well attack maybe they forget to block I don't know mm -hmm. to the surprise of no one they did not Yeah, this was that. This was not the opponent that played Erborg. Believe it or not, I bet you believe it. <clears throat> Don't play tutelage. Don't do it. We're friends here. We're all having a good time. Wow, that's rude. Swamp. That's literally the opposite of what I said. If you want to trade here, I'm game. I am. Oh, you do. All right. <clears throat> I am game. Didn't see that coming. That was a good lucky me moment. Lucky, 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 lucky. Trading post, huh? Okay. Well, Marble Diamond is like a swamp. So it's basically like if you uh, if you had a swamp that was instead an artifact and didn't produce black mana, but it produced white mana instead, then I think this is exactly the same. Okay, another double black card. I'm doing good. We're doing good. <clears throat> Might as well put this on here, right? <laughs> There's no harm in it. If we find a way to get rid of this, I don't think we have any. Uh, we can attack. Mm. 
Yep. Okay. Well, we're not we're not dead by any means here. Which is a funny thing to say when you're at 26 life, but you know, let's keep it real. swamp oh a six drop so here's here's our situation we have five lands and one of them is black this is a double black card also double black double black six mana well i guess we'll pass the turn as we have nothing to do make a goat draw a card make a goat well, yeah, we had a good time. <clears throat> oh god, here we go. Seven mana. Alhammeret Sphinx of Alhammeret. Alhammeret Sphinx? I don't know what the dude's called. I don't think we're winning this guy. Oh, it's just the Sands of Delirium. That is a thing. Well, biscuits. Well, I think if we hit a black mana at any any point before this, we would have been in good shape. I feel like last round we single-handedly lost to Sphinx's tutelage. So, this has been a pretty weird match. Oh, a second black man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I guess we're not dead yet. Until they go Aether Spouts, and then you're like, well, well. I don't think they have Aether Spouts in hand because they were going to play something for seven last turn. Look, I don't know. <clears throat> Oh, sack and the draw card. That's a good sign. That says... That says to me that you're digging. Armored Ascension would have been nice. Not great. Devouring Light's good, especially if they have Blightsteel Colossus, which costs 900,000 mana. So... <clears throat> That's a, that's a good card. Yep, that's a good dude. And they get to draw a card here. Okay, well, we're having a good time. Thank you. If we can hit one land, we can play Arena and Equip. Alright, they don't have... Well, isn't that special? Everything is double black. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, I still rather have a dude out, so we're gonna play Graveborn Muse, then we're gonna equip. <coughs> it's just a Phyrexian Arena with legs, so that's fine. Wow, either my either my and a Twilight Mire is pretty good. That's a pretty good. Oh, God. I'm cringing so hard right now. All right, well, that'll do it. We have clocks. We have some good clocks here. <laughs> we have the best clocks. You're going to draw a card? You're going to mill me for for one. And you're going to draw a card. Yeah, okay. So I figured. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, this is some shenanigans. <clears throat> Get in there, little guy. What happened to all the dudes? They passed on. I feel like they have Aether Spouts. So like They have one card in hand, two cards now. They gotta be Aether Spouts, right? Okay, well, that's not an Aether Spouts. But it's still good. Yikes. 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 Alright, that doesn't kill anything. So that's good. All right, they have no cards in hand, so they don't have either spouts. We can actually... Oh, yeah, we're going to do... We're going to do it. Up. Say yes. Dang it. Dang it. The sea was angry that day. It was like an old man returning soup at a deli. 
You like how I tap my mana in such a way that I can't cast both of these? I'm a good I'm good at this game. I'm like the best magic player you've ever seen. It's really kind of it's kind of unbelievable, I think. <clears throat> I think we're still playing Nantuko Shade here, but the fact that we can't play both is just absolutely terrible. I'm I didn't think we could play both, but then I realized, oh we can. We can play both. Yep, this is just fine. The sea was angry that day. Oh, they revealed the other... Well, they don't have any cards, so... Seven, they have ten lands. So we're going to go to... F 14 cards. They can tap all ten lands to put us to ten cards. To four cards. They could also draw a card, use one of the mana to sell us for two instead of one. And we just have to hope we get there with these guys. <clears throat> yeah, Arena's bad anyway, because we're just getting nulled out. So they're going to draw another card that puts us to 12. If they have a land here, if they draw a land, we're actually just dead. So, yep. So we're at 12. They go land. <laughs> or Jace's Ingenuity. Sure. One of your two cards. Yep. Seems good. Yep. Cool. Oh, Magic is a good game. Do you guys need PayPal? You need PayPal accounts to sub? I don't even know... I didn't know. I didn't know that was. The case. <clears throat> I will play first. I don't get to choose. I would play first anyway. I don't even care. I'll keep this hand. Topin Free Blade's great, and any one black lets us play Rager and Warhammer. So. Savannah Lions. No? Okay. All right. Well, that's a black card, not a, not a swamp. Magic gets so confused sometimes. It's like, oh, did you say did you say you wanted a black card with two black mana on the casting cost that you'll likely never be able to cast? And I was like, no, Magic Online. I said, I would like a swamp. And they were like, oh, a double black card? And I'm like, still no. Still no. I appreciate your, your initiative, but it's not really what we're looking for here, buddy. Is this guy going to get in there? Wow, that's aggressive. He's so aggressive. <clears throat> oh, I see. Oh, look, we didn't hit any land at all. This is good. This is how I wanted the third game to go. I was like, I really hope we don't draw any lands whatsoever. And then we just don't get a turn three, and then we have to pass. This is actually the, the best. This is the best. I'm having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. What bring what brings you guys here today? You guys, uh, you guys from the area? Are you guys from around here? <sighs> I guess I will take. Both your guys are death touchers, so that's pretty sad. Do we just two for one ourselves and block here? Doesn't feel good. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna go twelve here. Oh my god, pro white. Like what is this like the perfect deck against us? I don't understand what's happening right now. I'm very confused. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. <laughs> Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. 
I feel like we just want Warhammer out here, even though the Marble Diamond guarantees Archangel of Thune next turn. <clears throat> God, why does it come to play tapped? You're so stupid, Mar Marble Diamond. You're so stupid. That's mean. I like this better, because it guarantees we can ca We can either equip this turn, and if we hit any land, we get to... Uh, we get to play Archangel anyway. I'm just gonna pass here. They, there's no if they take two, it's not a great. But if they attack with this guy, we can block it. I'll even block Typhoid Rats now. Oh, they hit their fourth land on turn six. Oh, I see. You're not gonna let me block with that guy. I understand. That's kind of you. Why aren't you getting this guy back? I don't understand. Yep, that is not a land. <clears throat> I feel like we're dead here, but what can you do? Sometimes you, uh... You die. you do this last turn oh because you're getting your, your rats back oh this guy's exiled i'm so stupid i'm so dumb like did i bet you guys didn't even know how dumb i was now nah, you knew it's not good <clears throat> oh we're at two. <laughs> oh, that's nice that's solid this guy just kills us then doesn't he Okay, well, you got something else. I'm not even going to let it happen. Sure, you got it. You win the lottery. Um, Don't think you're good. Arm's Way is great here. I think our deck is actually well positioned. We just didn't really do, we didn't really do anything. like you I will play first all right so this is where we're going to keep this hand because we have four lands and a three drop and a bunch of powerful powerful top end top end boys We're going to lead on Swamp because we do have Nantuko Husk. Nantuko Shade in our deck, and we do want to be able to play a Nantuko Shade if we hit it on turn two. We, we hit a Swamp instead. That's not the same, but it's okay. It's okay. We got Grave Titan mana. We're getting there. <coughs> this is where we draw all double white cards and uh, never a sixth land. Oh, Marble Diamond yourself, huh? Okay, well, that's a little late to the party, but that's fine. That's rude. I hope you're proud of yourself. I will block. Here's an exalted guy. Oh, and a Johnny. I see. Well then, I guess we're not blocking. How about a five drop and not a land? Yeah, well, it's a thing, I guess. Well, this is nice, because now we get to just drop bomb after bomb. Dubs bombs. 
Dos Bamos, if you will. Bamanos. Are these, are these memes hitting you? Or anything? Anything sticking here? Oh, the double of Johnny. That's nice. If they make this a 4-4, four, four, they attack for 4, they put us to 13. If they put a counter on it next turn and give it double strike, then it's a... F I don't know. Magic's hard. I guess we're taking just 8 next turn. So 6-6 six, six and 2-2-2, two, 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 so 10 power or a 3-3 three, three and 3-1-1s. Three, one, ones. That get plus two, plus two, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine power versus ten power, but the ten power is continuous, like it keeps coming, so. Oh, they negative this. Okay, that's good. That's nice. And they dealt us none. I like it. I like it. Although two of Johnny's is kind of problematic. Flying double strike lifelink vigilance. Yeah, that seems good. Plus on here, neg on here. Yep, they just we just take ten in the air and then they just do it again next turn for the win. Yep, that's what they're looking at. This is something. That's not gonna do it. <clears throat> what do we have to kill? We have to kill this Ajani, right? And the cats in the cradle and the cells bring. This is the Ajani we care about. So they go block here, block here. It takes. Yeah, we should be able to do it if they don't have, like, Doomblade. I bet they do. They always have Doomblade. Oh, it can't be Doomblade now. Oh, we did it. Thank goodness. I am grateful. Alright. Feeling okay about this situation. As long as we got this f double striking a Johnny off the board, I'm okay with it. They are at 32, though. That is, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, that is not an insignificant amount of life. It's actually a lot of life. Just figured I'd let you know. Just this guy, huh? First strike, 5-5. Five, five. Push. 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 And push. You get to kill two of them, and then we get to kill you. This is fine. Everybody's in front. Unless they, if I mean, if they have a way to kill Captain, it's bad. It's, it's actually terrible. I think they do. Oh, damage is being assigned. All right. And we get our Blessed Spirits back. And they Wrath of God. Was this the Wrath of God deck? No, that was the last deck. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. All of this is fine. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Where is it going? attack a Johnny with you attack you attack you attack you attack you attack you and attack you and I'll tag with you we're gonna have three blockers is that enough we know they have banisher priest but they're probably gonna get rid of one of these I guess we'll keep one zombo back elk tears what's going on buddy always a pleasure these guys are coming to play tapped so they're not necessarily gonna be good to block as you can imagine Thanks to imposing Sovereigno. This 
So we have three blockers. They're going to be able to get rid of one with the priest. Three, four, five. We're dead if they can get rid of all three blockers. with If every card in their hand... Okay, so no, they don't. All right, that's good. So long, Captain of the Watch. But that's fine. I mean, if we get Captain back, it's just very good anyway. Oh, this is an aggressive attack. Block you and block you. We can go to four here, I think. <clears throat> so six, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. One, two, three, four, five. That seems fine. They have no cards in hand, so we're actually in great shape here. Um, I don't think I care about Rager here. I'd rather just... I mean, like, I don't want to go to three. I just don't see a reason to do so. bringing in their deck is pretty aggressive actually I kind of like the Vryn Wingmare but I feel like that's just going to wreck us uh, I like Duress a lot now that we know they have two Ajani's in their deck I think the Bond is probably too cute for this matchup What to do, what to do. First response, we can also cut for reprisal. Um, they don't have many creatures that have power four or more, but they can get there. Uh, this hand actually seems great. If we can draw one more black, I'm pretty on board. Elk with the Twitch Prime sub, because she's a great... <laughs> that's, like, that's a solid heat reference there. That's a solid Michael Mann reference. Uh, I'm still going to start with this because reasons. Nantuko Shade is the reason, obviously. Duress. Swamp. Okay. Well, <clears throat> oh, they missed two land drops? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we're taking this one home, boys. He said preemptively. Oh, three land drops is not where you want to be here. That's pretty rough. Yikes. You can tap my Isareth, but you can never tap my freedom. Yeah, unfortunately, we're way too far ahead here, I think. coincidence i think so that's that's fact i think that is actually that is correct that is coincidence so next time we can go activate black cat and pacify this guy so that's pretty good it's not a it's not a man purse it's a european carry-all <laughs> oh man oh we both had the same reprisal idea that's fascinating. Okay, we're just going to do that. That seems pretty good. Wow, I did not think we were going to win this game, but then our opponent got mana screwed. And then um, here we are. I mean, we haven't won yet. You know, so uh, nothing in our hand costs more than harm's way. Okay, gain some life.
really don't like this. That's pretty problematic. Um, you know what? If you want to block here, that's totally fine. <clears throat> yep. So you take six here? That's pretty good for us. One, two... I'm just going to play the black cat. Because we still, like, if they have to tap out for something, Armored Ascension almost wins us the game. Like, if they go three drop here, it's probably going to be Banisher Priest on Captain. Hmm. Twas not. Twas a con Consul's Lieutenant. Not to be confused with the Council. Oh, that is a good draw. Uh, it's redirected to any target instead. Does that just mean we just attack all out? I think it does. Yeah, this is actually probably going to win us the game. You got it. No one in the graveyard. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, I will pay zero. 100 broke my leg bucks. Well, no, that's only... It's that's how we one broke my leg buck. Um, so harm's way, choose any target. This guy, pay a white. This is the source. Wow, that was pretty busted. Now we'll play Frexian Arena. Yeah, this is not. This has not been a reasonable game. Bobby Miser, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Anyway, buddy. Not, nonetheless, the meme is tricky. And uh, here we go. Is this a thing? Oh, we did a 2 1 with the stipulation draft. Thank you so much to Scott. Really appreciate it. Scott L with the Uno stipulation. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Hopefully, it went as well as planned. I think we messed up on a couple picks because I forgot artifacts can go to any color. Um, but either way, I think it ended up well. I think we had uh, drafted a decent deck. We went 2 1. And uh, what can you do? Uh, yeah, if you're l watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon, on Twitch, or on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off, free returns, free shipping, and some super comfortable uh, clothing, attire. So uh, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.